Hi, this is Nick Olson, and it is week three peer review assignment for the Introduction to Music Production course. And I'm going to show you how to record and edit automation in Pro Tools 8LE DAW. The first thing I want to do is switch to volume view under the track view selector, and then expand the view of the track a little bit. You could also zoom in if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to keep it the way I had it. And first I'll use the grabber tool to bring the first point down so I know that I have the low volume. I'm, I'm kind of going to do a fade in here. And then I'll use the pencil tool to add some points here and gradually bring the volume up. And then at the end, I'm going to do a fade out. I could also use the Alt button, hold it down, and click the left mouse button to delete some of these points. And I could also use the grabber tool to move them around. And depending on whether it's in grid or slip mode, it'll snap to the grid or it'll just move them to wherever you want. And again, if I hold Alt, I can delete the point. If I use the selector tool and select a number of points at once and hit either backspace or delete, it'll delete those points. I'm going to undo that for now, though, because I want those to demonstrate how this worked. And then if I switch to the mix mode and hit play, you can see that this fader is now automatically controlled. So that's how you add automation to volume. Let's go ahead and delete all that and bring this first point back up to a decent volume. And then we're going to add automation to a plugin. So first I'll add a plugin to this track. I'm going to use an EQ37 band mono plugin, and I'm going to use a low pass filter, and I want to control the frequency automatically. So I want to turn this on, this low pass filter on here, and then up here under auto, I need to turn on the frequency automation control of this plugin, and it'll br bring up all of these different options. You can control any number of them that you want automatically, and I'll add that. Now you can see over here, it shows up under the list of the track view selector. So I can now automate the frequency of this low pass filter. I'm going to use latch mode, and what that does is means when I play back the track and move this knob during playback, it'll automatically add that automation to the region here. And in latch mode, it will stay where I let go of it instead of going back to its original position, as in touch mode. So let's just go ahead and add some. Now you can see it's added all of this automation. It, it adds quite a few points if you're turning the knob gradually. You can edit it the same way using the grabber tool, the pencil tool to add or delete by holding the alt button. Or you can select a number of points at once and hit backspace or delete and delete them. I'm going to undo that. And in closing, I will go ahead and play this back for you to see how it sounds. And again, it's been Nick Olson with the week three peer review assignment in the Introduction to Music Production course. Um, switch this back to read when you're not using that latch because you don't want to add anything that you didn't mean to. And hope you have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you.